five, four, three, two, one, zero. Lift off of the Falcon 9. Plus one minute and ten seconds. We've launched from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral. We're waiting to hear the call out. We're going supersonic right now and passing through maximum dynamic pressure. Vehicle has completed the throttle down and throttle back up. Stage one propulsion is now. You heard the words and the cheering in the background. Propulsion is nominal, a phrase we love to hear at SpaceX. We're currently beginning. MVAC chill has begun. There's the call out for the chill in of the MVAC engine, just like we did before launch for the first stage engines. We're now chilling in the turbo pump on the second stage engine with liquid oxygen, getting it ready for ignition, coming up in just about 35 seconds. The next major event that we're going to hear is main engine cutoff that will come up at about two minutes and 38 seconds you can see the ground cameras following the falcon 9 the cameras on the falcon 9 will also be used bringing us images back from space and a great view looking up the and back of the main engine we're going to listen in as we go to main engine cutoff and stage separation now is actually continuing because it's going so fast it continues in this huge parabola this ballistic trajectory and out towards the drone ship in the middle of the Atlantic uh, it's, it's quite a long ways it goes up to about 200 kilometers in altitude before it starts descending again. this is the same drone ship that we landed on not too long ago of course I still love you which like we said earlier is about a couple hundred miles off the coast of Florida All right and let's not forget of course that view of the right side of that second stage uh, engine powering and from the front end of the rocket there is the fairing separation uh, you can see the JC sat there for a brief moment there as well all these views are coming from cameras just like this one I have in my hand right here it's, it's it is literally this small we at SpaceX design and build these in-house like most of our avionics across the entire vehicle design build test uh, it's, it's one of the things that we do really well here at SpaceX is, is vertically integrated. Uh, yeah. Yep, um, we're making most of everything out of aluminum because it's very light. That's the reason we ditched the fairing, of course, is so that we're not carrying that excess mass towards uh, towards the orbit. Uh, it's just going to be slowing down unnecessarily. Now that the second stage is out of, uh, it's going towards space where there is no atmosphere, we're able to deploy the fairing, as you just saw, uh, because our payload, JCSAT-14, no longer needs that protection from the friction created by the, uh, by the atmosphere. Uh, so the second stage is going to continue to burn for a little while longer yet. Uh, it's going to keep pushing up that speed until it's about 8 kilometers per second mm -hmm. to get it into that low Earth orbit. It will then pause for a little bit and allow it to sort of I guess, be in a parking orbit in low Earth orbit, it's called. Uh, and that's going to be in about 15 minutes of that coast period before it restarts to begin that second burn 
to get it to geosynchronous transfer orbit. But, but, but right, let's take a quick pause right now to see how that orbit in progress is actually happening with John, who's been listening on the countdown nets. T plus five minutes, everything continues to go nominal. You hear that call out occasionally, something that we love to hear, as I've said before at SpaceX. Give you an update on the Falcon 9 trajectory. I'm looking at the uh, plot map on my monitor here, we're tracking down pretty much the middle of the predicted trajectory. Now we've headed somewhat due east out of Cape Canaveral. For our initial parking orbit, we don't really change the inclination of the orbit, so we'll shoot eastward. There will be a second burn a little bit later on that we uh, plan to bring you in the webcast. That'll be the burn that takes us to the geosynchronous transfer orbit. The first burn is into the parking orbit. You heard the call there, stage two propulsion is nominal. We're looking at the MVAC-D engine. You can see it on the screen. We're monitoring the nozzle. You can see the red glow with the niobium alloy of the nozzle extension on the MVAC-D engine. That's the normal color. Stage That's what we expect. Two. Power of the tree remain nominal. Things continue to remain nominal still on both stages. We are also looking at chamber pressures on the engine. They're looking good and solid. We're watching how the turbo pump's working. We're looking at the avionics system, how power on the stage is. Everything right now on the Falcon 9 continues to look good as we power our way into that initial parking orbit. Major event about to come up that we're going to listen for is the entry burn of the first stage. We'll light three engines for about 15 seconds. Let's listen in for a minute. Maybe we'll hear it. Stage one, if you burn to start it. There's the start of the burn. This will last for several more seconds. We'll shut it down, and then we'll wait for the landing burn and the second stage headed into orbit. We have shut down of the landing burn. Let's turn it back down to the floor and see how things are going there. Just in case if you've just joined us, we've had a great uh, first ascent of the first stage as well as a stage separation of first stage and second stage. Second stage, as you can see there on your screen, we had a great MVAC ignition and second stage is now carrying JCSAT-14 uh, out to uh, geosynchronous transfer orbit. We're now waiting on, like John said, the first stage to come back and make an attempt on to landing on Of Course I Still Love You. And we just completed that landing burn, and we're going to be waiting. The re burn. Excuse me, the re entry re burn. burn. Thank yes. you. <laughs> and we're waiting for the landing burn, which I'm sure you'll hear the crowd around us uh, start cheering stage whenever we have visual confirmation of that. Yeah. Uh, what makes this mission so difficult in particular, uh, the geosynchronous transfer orbit missions, is that the re entry, even after that re entry burn, we're still moving twice as fast. Uh, as we would for a typical low Earth orbit mission. We're entering the atmosphere at about two kilometers per second for this mission, instead of a, a more typical one kilometer per second uh, for a low Earth orbit. Right, and that landing bird's gonna come up in about another 20 seconds or so, and keep in mind that those are going twice as fast. The velocity is the square, energy is the square of velocity, so four times as much energy is being imparted on that stage, and eight times as much heating, which is why we said before, this is gonna be a very difficult mission for us, and we are not expecting uh, a successful attempt at this time around. So we are but we're hopeful. learning, we're always hoping. <laughs> and you're hearing everyone cheer right now because coming into the drone ship, we will show you what you can right there, and that's a view from our drone ship.